All right, so I want to show you today what I did. I uh, I literally bought one piece of wood. It was a one by four, and it was the cheapest wood that I could possibly find. Uh, I think I I don't think I paid over five dollars for it. Um, so all I did was cut three 16 inch pieces and I used my miter saw. Uh, you could also use a miter box. Uh, those are like 15 bucks and that would cut this um, pretty well. But uh, you can see on the bottom, I cut two pieces uh, that went across. I think these are 12 inch if I'm not mistaken. Let me go ahead and measure that for you. So no, these are 10 inches across. Okay, so two 10 inch pieces. And uh, I put a, the hardware for a Lazy Susan underneath of it. And this is for a game board. So if we played Scrabble or Life or whatever, sorry, uh, we would put the game on here and then you rotate it to the next person's turn. So it makes it easy for game night when you're sitting at a table. So all I did was stain and sand and uh, that's it. So I stained just a natural um, cherry or oak, I think it was light oak or something uh, on this wood and just made it really natural. I wasn't worried about any of the, um, you know, there's um, the little spots in the wood and there's a gash out of this one. I wasn't worried about any of that. I just wanted something really um, easy. And then I'm going to put these on the three um, pieces here. So we're just going to go ahead and get started on that. And made the ultimate mistake of getting my transfer stuck. This is why we fuzz them because this one is super sticky. So, one second. Get this bad boy out. Holy cow, this thing is like super glue sticky. Some of our stencils are very sticky and some are not so much. So, This one won the lottery in the sticky sticky department. So we lay it down on a towel or any kind of surface just because if you stretch or transfer too much, you can ruin it. So we're gonna take some of that sticky off. You can also mess up your design if it's too sticky and you're trying to get it up. So what I'm gonna do is put this as center as I can on my boards here. I'm gonna press down really good. I also uh, sprayed this with a clear coat matte spray and uh, I do that often. Um, when I'm working with wood because it's gonna it's gonna make it so it won't bleed as much through the wood because uh, it tends to um, bleed when you're working with wood products. I was looking for this one. I can't decide which colors I want to do. Guess I should have really penned this down before I started, huh? Um, I think we're gonna do these three. So let's do yellow. We're gonna go for it. All right. So we are just gonna take our blue. This is ocean mist, I think. Yeah, ocean mist. Doesn't take much. Set this 
sound. Man, that is sticky, sticky, sticky. this down. We're going to dry this. to set that under there to keep it from sticking. I'm gonna get the yellow. This is daffodil. Try this one. Centering is by far the hardest part. I cannot believe how sticky this is. <laughs> this is actually unusually sticky. getting this even. Now 
This is Peachy Keen. One of my favorites. wash dry this turned out great so um, that's it we have our little board I will probably put some spray over this uh, so that um, it's protected so I'll use a clear coat matte spray again over the top of this uh, but now we have our little family game night board very easy to make uh, probably less than ten dollars the hardware the lazy Susan hardware uh, is all put together already you just screw it in and that was only uh, I don't know five dollars uh, got that at Hobby Lobby and uh, the piece of wood I got for probably five bucks at uh, Home Depot so ten bucks and you got a cute little craft all right so we uh, finished our project and I just wanted to show you how uh, you can put a game board on there just like that and then uh, you can turn that around I got stuff on my desk so it's hitting stuff but uh, you can turn it to the next person super easy and uh, play a family game night and have fun with this little board that twists and turns to the next person